Welcome to my Team Unicorn chat and alongside me I've got Devon Peterson and we're going to have a chat about Devon, Devon's current dart setup. Uh, here are the darts that are available for sale. Um, Unicorn 90% tungsten contender darts, Devon Peterson signature darts and they actually come uh, available for sale in the black finish which is actually what Devon uses. Um, so if you could just uh, pick up your darts for us Devon and just show us how you hold the grip. Um, now, these barrels are actually slightly different to what are available for sale. Uh, your new darts are going to be coming through uh, in the near future, but the middle part of the barrel there, we've actually um, put a purist grip on, uh, which you're actually getting on quite well with it at the yeah, moment. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's, it's, it felt like the, the first, the original setup, um, I just felt like there wasn't enough holding or the finger wasn't gripping too solidly on, onto the dart itself. And then just adding that kind of gave me a bit more control, I felt, and, and I've been using them since, probably since December, and they've been doing well, and obviously I want to- Got you through Q, Q school, school as yeah, well. Yeah, yeah. So hoping, hoping this is the new, the new future. Excellent, and the, the scallop on the barrel as well. Can you just talk us through how you sort of came across that? In the beginning, I used to use the, the Full Taylor Purist and, and the darts that Full Taylor gave me, and then it felt like I was picking up the dart on a different place most of the times, like just slightly off. Um, and then when we obviously discussed, then uh, a scallop was advised and, and it, get, it, it feels like it gives me the unfair advantage because I'm picking up the dart 98% of the time on the same place all the okay. time. So, Do you do you hold the dart quite aggressively with your thumb on the scallop well, part I, of the barrel? Or? It's, it's quite hard to say that what, what if you define aggressive, that's mm. probably a, a very clampy grip. So yeah. I'm just kind of smoothing it over. So okay, just a bit of technical information on the barrel. It's 50.8 millimeters in length and 6.5 millimeters in diameter. Um, and the stems as well. You've just started using these uh, quite recently. Aluminium machina stems. Now you've you've always sort of liked to use a, an aluminium, aluminium stem. Yeah. I think I think with the durability of the stem itself, um, that's that's the reason why I always use the aluminium. But mm -hmm. I think with the, with the world champion aluminium stems, they tend to as soon as they fall or you or you kind of throw in the darts or you or you click the the stem itself, it bends quite easily, and that obviously can interrupt obviously the flow of the darts. So mm -hmm. I thought, well, the new machine stems are, are are quite more rugged and 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 have a grip all the way to the top as well. So. It really, it really kind of flowed well with the dart and, and the trajectory towards the borders is really smooth as well. Okay, you do sort of tinker around with flights quite a bit and you've gone from slim, plus shape, and actually you're currently using the shield, which I, is a new flight design. I think, I think I'm, I'm not yet to find the best throw through the air, but when you, when you throw in the dart, you can actually see the, 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 the flow through the air and, and what I'm kind of the desired result is, I think the, the shield now is, because I've been looking for a stem that, I mean a flight that could obviously give me the desired result mm -hmm. of, the, of the perfect arch towards the board. So yeah. I think the shield ones are as close as they come now. So I'll definitely give them a go and, and see what, what I can conjure up. Excellent, and your points, you use quite a long point, 35 millimeter protrusion out of the barrel. You like to use um, knurling on the points as well, uh, the groove points. Uh, do you hold your finger across the groove well, part of the I, point, I, or I think when I do pick it up at first, it just kind of just runs slightly over the over the the point. So it's it's kind of just a, a mental thing where you're just yeah. running over the point. But the reason for the for the longer points is because what I've experienced is as soon as you throw your first dart into the barrel, if you have the normal the normal the the, the points and the board is a bit worn out through the game, I mean, then what would happen is your your dart would actually block the sixty a bit. So what, what I was finding is is that the longer the stem, so the more dart that's out of the board would obviously give you a bigger target to aim yeah, at. So in the treble, yeah. yeah, so that's that's obviously a new addition to the dart as well. So hopefully I'll, I'll be using them a lot more. Okay, fantastic. Good luck in the coming months, Devon. Oh, thank you very much. And thanks for joining me on my latest Team Unicorn chat with Devon Peterson. Cheers.